Oh, All right, Rick, hang on, David. I'm going to have to talk to you in just a bit. All right. Okay, so your rotation is really late relative to your arm coming forward. You can see how your arm is extended and then your hips come around. Try to connect your hips into the arm. Furthermore, you're resetting your chin after the breath with the shoulder. Bring that chin down before, oh, you can really see it there. When you breathe to your left, you can really see it. Um, you want to bring that chin down independent of the rotation of the body. Then also look where your right arm is relative to your left arm when you breathe, when you breathe into your left. All right, keep going, buddy. You want that lead arm to remain out and extended until the recovery arm, the weight of the recovery arm is in front of the lungs. Your, ba your body balance looks pretty good, meaning that your head, shoulders, hips, and legs are all pretty much at the surface. But you can see, you can definitely see how soon you're pulling. You need to leave that lead arm out. You're a little loose. You can see how your right hip comes up. It stays a little higher than uh, your middle on your right side, how you kind of look like your torso's losing a little bit of its connection or its rigidity. You're coming around. And your, rotate, your rotation is so-so. Eh, I, I think it could be better. It could be a little, uh, have a little greater amplitude. But uh, that's not bad at all. Keep going, go, go a little bit more. What's that? No, stay with freestyle. There's plenty to look at. So your kick is basically at this point just supporting your, uh, yeah, there, there may be a little drive, but it's basically just supporting your stroke, providing a little bit of lift to your knee or your, your hips, and then aiding in your rotation. Sorry, the helicopter going over. Man, you can really see how late, how late your chin reset is on your left. Bring that chin down, down. And chin down. You see, you're a little better on your right than you are on your left. But leave that arm out, have that hand be at the same depth as your shoulder, and get to what I call lineation, where you create the line at the exact same moment that you've created all of your rotation. So you get to maximum rotation at the same, same time that you create that, that your longest line, from your tips of your right fingers to the tips of your left toes, or vice versa. All right, man, that's, uh, that'll do it. That'll give you... A lot of stuff to watch. All right.